Hello there colorful creators! In this episode we will be creating this beautiful flower painting craft for Mother's Day. The supplies that you will need will first be a piece of paper. I am using a cardstock which is a little bit thicker and I'll be folding it in half to make a card. The second supply you will need is a paper plate. We will be putting our paint on this plate. And the next supply will be a couple of paintbrushes and Q-tips as well. You'll also need a black marker. This can be a permanent marker or a washable marker. And finally, you will need some paint. I have washable paint here that I'll be mixing up to create different colors for my craft. Step one of our project today is to take our piece of paper and fold it in half. You want to make sure that you have all of your corners and edges lined up and then you're going to create a clean and crisp line right in the middle so that way you have a card that is created. We will then be using this card to create our flower painting on the outside front of it and I will be turning my proportion so that way it is long ways like this so you can do that as well. Our next step is to add some green painted stems onto the front of our card. So you'll want to make sure to grab your paintbrush and mix up a few different colors of green paint and you're going to just slowly add a few different lines which will be the stems of our flowers. You will want to make sure that the bottoms of the stems are kind of bunched together and then the tops kind of go out and spread out further from each other. This will help you to be able to have room at the top for all of your beautiful flowers that we will be painting later. And it also helps it to where whenever we add our little bow tie that will be on the bottom, those will group around together very nicely. You will want to continue painting until you have about 7 to 10 different stems added to your picture. Once your stems have been created, you will want to use the same paint and paintbrush and create a few little brush strokes that will look like leaves. You can spread these out and add these wherever you would like on your stems that you have created already. Just adding a variety of different sizes between bigger leaves and also a few smaller leaves as well on my stems. Next you want to grab your q-tips and you're going to dip them in your paint for your flowers and you're going to dot them around in a circle to create almost little petals. Then we will take our q-tip and we will swirl it around to create this really fun and beautiful flower. You can also mix your paints together. I have a purple and a red that I'm mixing together to create a really beautiful and colorful swirled color effect.
You will continue this process until you have your bouquet completely filled up. You can also alternate and add different colors of flowers as you would like. I always love adding different sizes of flowers and then also color variations as well. So I am currently working with a yellow and orange flower, but then I also have my pinks and my purples included too, just to give a really fun and bright look. You will want to continue creating all of these beautiful and bright flowers until your entire bouquet is full and colorful, just like this. Once your picture is no longer wet and the paint is completely dry, we are going to add a little saying onto the front of our card. So go ahead and grab your marker and start thinking of a fun and cute saying that you can add to your card. On my card, I'm going to write love you bunches because I really think that's a cute and fun saying and I think it goes along well with this craft since we have a bunch of flowers. You could always write your own saying, maybe one that says happy Mother's Day or I love you mom. It is completely up to you. Once you have your saying written out, you're going to use that same black marker to draw a tie around your flowers. I'm just drawing two little lines and then I'm going to add a little bow around that as well, which is going to be two little circles that are connecting into the middle and then two long lines that are going down from them. Just like that. Now you will use your same black marker again to add some dot details into the center of every single flower. This will be the final and finishing detail to the outside of each of our flowers. You will want to repeat this process until every single one of your flowers has these cute little polka dots right in the middle of them. Now with the outside of the card complete, it is now time for the most important part, which is the handwritten message that goes on the inside. You can include whatever you would like on the inside of your card to your mom. And there we have the final result. I hope your mom just loves it. Thanks for creating with me today and don't forget to like and subscribe.